Beginning with the British band Genesis, then conquering America with solo hits like a Against All Odds and One More Night. Tonight, Phil Collins will perform live from Madison Square Garden in an exclusive pay-per-view concert. Will you please welcome, via satellite, because we're not a cheap show, Phil Collins. You... Hello, Jamie. What is pay... Pay per, per view. What, what, what does that mean? Because I don't understand any of this. Well, I, I asked Joe Leno that the other night, and he said, "Will you pay and you view?" Really? So, oh, so they want to see that to pay extra, so they can sit home and watch a rock concert. Well, you don't have to pay extra. Actually, it's, 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 in some places, it's cheaper. But um, well, you you uh, you ring up your local cable station, you find out how much it costs, and you uh, you you say, "Can I have this show?" And they they plumb it into your house, and it's it's going to be our last show of the tour, so it's going to be a, quite an emotional evening. I does that happen? Aren't you worried that if people could sit home and watch you, they won't get up and come out to watch you? Um, well, y yes. <laughs> but I'm hoping that uh, at least 20,000 people will make the effort. <laughs> <laughs> 20,000 people. How do you get out after the show? Do you ever get stuck in traffic? Um, well, actually, when we play these places like the sheds, they call them, they're, right. they're the indoor-outdoor places. Yes, we we either we wait for an hour and a half, two hours for the for the the, the parking to sort of to disperse, or we do a runner with a police escort, which is good fun sometimes. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. well everything is everything still fun with you? Because I still get such a kick out of being in show business. You still get a thrill. You walk out and there are the people. And That's right. The excitement. Yeah, I mean, it never gets never. I mean, every show is different. You know, every night is different, and every night is as important as the last night. So we do have a, we have a great time, and we we done we will have done 127 shows since we started, and um, and we're still finding new ways to uh, to play the songs. We're having a great time, you know. Good what fun. do you do at the end of this tour? Do you just go away and relax, or do you? Well, yes. Well, I mean, we've got a live album coming out. We've recorded a live album on this tour, which will be coming out pretty much in the beginning of November, and we also have a live video which we've been doing, so it's this, this, the last part of the tour has been chaos because we've been mixing and editing and, and choosing songs. But uh, after that, yeah, after the tour finishes, with that, that comes out, we'll just, I'll just go home and um, I'll be Mr. Normal for a couple of weeks and then uh, have a little, little break, a holiday, and uh, hopefully I'll want to do some more acting. I want to look at, hopefully I'll be doing a film. They told me that you signed to be one of the three bears, right? Yeah, that, that's for fun. You consider like real acting. Yes, erf, erf, erf. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're not quite sure what 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 direction it's going to take. I don't. I can't guarantee me dressing up in a bear costume, but um, basically the, the the idea of me, Devito, and Hoskins as the three bears is something that I hope will reach fruition at some point. I mean, it may not be till next year, but we're inching our way forward. Now, now when you idea. said you just said, and I want to go back for a second. You just said you go home. How? How much time do you spend on the road as compared to off the road? Well, this year we've been on the road since February, and oh. and apart from between tours when there's a week, maybe ten days, maybe two weeks, and you know, I mean, I had three weeks off in August with the kids, and um, other than that, it's just been like a week break or, or ten day break since then. But then the year before that, I didn't do any touring, you know. So sometimes it's. Uh, if you're, if you're on a touring stretch, you know, like with Genesis in 91, we'll probably go out on the road, then that is, you know, you may be away for two or three months. Um, in 86, 87, we went out for 10 months with Genesis. So I never want to do that again. But, um, you know, when you're at home, you're at home, and when you're away, you just got to live with it, you know? Do you ask for special things? I know we have attached all my contracts, riders. And uh, I know like Bon Jovi asked for M&Ms in dishes, but they must take the green out, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. I, and I asked for toilets with lids <laughs> because when I'm making my makeup, putting on my makeup, it was while you drop something and oh, you gotta go fishing, you know, I don't like that. We asked. What do you ask? It's unusual. Toilets with doors. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you go to some of these places and I don't know how people do it. I mean, I'm very private when it comes to that kind of thing. But you go into some of these places. Yeah. You know, I mean, you go to some of these places and there's no doors. Yeah. You know, I mean, what are these athletes? I mean, they just sort of don't care or what? Yeah. So, it's in your rider, I must have a... a John with a, a door that closes. Yeah, and a lid, yeah. yeah. And a seat lid, <laughs> and a seat top. Yeah. And a seat top, yes. <laughs> that doesn't hurt. Does, that, does your wife go with you on yeah. the tours? Yeah, she usually stands, where there's no door, she just stands in front of the door. <laughs> um, no, I... <laughs> no, she's, uh, she comes everywhere. 
<laughs> I, I mean on tour, not to the bathroom. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, she comes, uh, we had the whole family out at one point. We had, I've got, I've got two kids, 18 and 14, and we've got Lily, who's 18 months, and at one point they were all out, but throughout the whole tour, uh, my wife Jill and Lily have been with us. I mean, J Lily has, has grown up on this tour. She was only about nine months when she came out, and now she's 18 months. <laughs> so she's uh, she's been living out of a suitcase for the half of her life. You know. How long are you married now to Jill? Since '84. Tell them. I know you've said it a million times, but you haven't said it to me about how you met your wife and you, you used an alias. I think it's the sweetest, most romantic story. I just think it's a killer. Um. <clears throat> oh well, I was uh, I was in uh, Los Angeles, and we were. I had a night off and I went to a club, uh, which I don't, I mean, that's the last, probably the last time I did go to a club, because look what happened. But uh, I, went to, I went to a club and, um, and she was sitting behind me and she just, she was uh, on her last night, she was been training as a teacher. And so she, she stretched like that and found my head and we, we, we sort of met like that, really. But there's, the funny story actually is that, because I, I, we, you know, we left LA and we went on to Atlanta and I, um, called her up and said, do you want to come, da come down? Because I felt poor in love with her. And so she, um, she came down and when she checked in, she asked for Mr. Collins's room. And she got shown to Mr. Collins's room and she went into the shower. She had, I wasn't there, she had a shower. She came out and there was a man standing there in a kilt with, a, with bagpipes. And it was actually another Mr. Collins. And um, so she came out of the shower with a, with, a rope, with a towel on and this Scotsman thought he'd got lucky, you know, it was fantastic. <laughs> So she went down and complained to the... Uh, Do you still think of yourself as a sex symbol? Do I still think I th of myself as yes. a sex symbol? Or is it kind of like you said, oh, this is all silly now? Because I mentioned your name and the ladies just faint when I say Phil Collins. Well, I don't understand it. I really don't. I mean, I'm being quite serious. I really don't. I mean, I think that my only saving grace is that when Woody Allen used to make the top of the, you know, the most eligible bachelor list, um, there must be something else that people look for. That's all I can think of. Do, uh, everyone just went, ah, oh, you can't hear it. <laughs> Tell me about your music. Um, the critics adored you in the beginning. Adored you, went crazy for you. Then, now they like to take, you know, wipes at you. Does that upset you? The same critic that just say you the most brilliant thing in the world suddenly turns around and says, well, I don't think this anymore. Do you read the critics? Um, the critics? No, no, no. I, I've got no time. For criti most critics. I mean, there are some critics that are quite fair. They come and review the show, and even if they say they don't like it, they'll say that the 20,000 people that were there did like it. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've been called, I mean, the LA Times, for instance, you know, I don't think there's anybody on that staff that really likes my, the mention of my name. So I know that, that pretty much when, when I play there, I'm going to get slagged off no matter what I do. Yeah. And, um, but, but all I have to go on is the fact that, that the people that are at the concert they go away happy, and that's that's all I can gauge myself by. I've never been the, the darling of the critic's eye. I've never been... Nor have I. No, so. you know, never been fashionable. <laughs> so. so it's... A, hey, but we're both still here, aren't we? That's right. And I hope we'll yeah. be talking again. I talked to you on Fox. I talked to you on Carson. I'm talking to you now on my own show. I hope we talk again. And in London. And in London. I forgot that. Wasn't that fun? Yes, it was good fun. It's good to see you, and my, I'm glad the tour is over. Have a good vacation, and good luck tonight. I'm going to I'm going to go pay. <laughs> So think about that one. You're richer now because of me. Good night, and thank you so much. Bye -bye. We'll be right back.